Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. This video is a little different than my do-it-yourself videos, although this is a do-it-yourself video, but it's not about fixing anything. This is actually a video on uh, two game preserves that we just recently went to, my wife and myself. I'm going to show some pictures and narrate some of the events. If anybody is in the eastern, northeastern United States or plan to travel there, uh, these are some really great places. These two places, uh, one is run, one is affiliated with the Columbus Zoo, the other is privately held by a older couple. Although I have to be careful there, I don't think they're as old as I am. And especially their game preserve, which is not that big, but it, it's taking care of wolves that have no other place to go, so to speak. Um, there's some issues with wolves, I guess. You can't take them out of the wild and you can't reintroduce them back into the wild unless you're the federal government. And these wolves have either been taken illegally and then either abandoned or they've been found as cubs and tried to be raised. So now this couple is taking care of them and being educational about it. I, th I think it's a wonderful idea. So I hope you enjoy the narration. I'm going to keep it a little short if possible. Uh, the other location uh, is, and I may have already said it, but it's, it's, um, it's a location that's affiliated with the Columbus Zoo. It's called The Wilds, and it's in Cumberland, Ohio. They have 10,000 acres of which I think they're using a little over 2,500 of it for this game park. I have to be careful. It's, it's, it, it is educational. It's research. Uh, they're not doing it for enjoyment, so to speak. Uh, the enjoyment you get when you go uh, funds their efforts. Uh, and it was really pretty slick. Uh, we enjoyed it. We think you will like the pictures. Uh, if you want more information, just look up The Wilds, W-I-L-D-S, in Cumberland, Ohio. And the other you'll see pictures of, it's Lakota Wolf Preserve. Uh, they are on the border of Pennsylvania and New Jersey. I think they're in New Jersey. Um, about 20 minutes from Belvedere, New Jersey, where we stayed. So the, it's, uh, it's in that area. And I hope you like it. So we're going to cut to some of the pictures at this point. The first preserve is Lakota, L-A-K-O-T-A, -A, Wolf Preserve, a 10-acre Wolf Preserve in Columbia, New Jersey, run by a husband and wife. And they take in wolves that cannot be released to the wild or people have taken as pets and find they can't control them. So they give them the best life they can. There are four wolf packs, uh, each one having their alpha pair. So they have in four separate cages. Uh, I won't call them cages because each blocked off area is about two and a half acres, which is small for a wolf roaming, but certainly room for these guys to live out their lives. Uh, they're privately funded. They do an educational uh, tour, I guess you'd say, an educational hour and a quarter educational talk where you get to see the wolves up fairly close. And, uh, you know, they're, uh, I think they're doing good. They're trying to preserve these wolves that would otherwise probably be put down. 
they used to do breeding, but because they have a limit on how many wolves they can actually have on site, the they've prevented the breeding. Uh, so these wolves are uh, not going to have offspring, but they have room for a few more wolves if they have to take wolves in. So we are going to support them uh, because I think that's a it's a good it's a good kind-hearted gesture to try to take care of these animals. So that's uh, what we have there. Uh, you can see from the pictures there's oh, half a dozen or a dozen wolves that they have in the four packs uh, and uh, if you enjoy animals i think you would really enjoy the hour and a quarter tour that they give the the lecture and tour it is a bit of a hike they do have a van that can bring you up there it's about a three quarter of a mile hike up a hill through the woods to get to the preserve itself so that's the the wolf preserve uh, Certainly interesting to learn about the wolves and uh, and the plans to try to give them a good life. The second game preserve is in Cumberland, New uh, Cumberland, Ohio. Sorry. It is affiliated with the Columbus Zoo. Uh, they use 2,500 acres or so of their 10,000 acre plot, which is reclaimed um, coal mining area. They have dozens of animals it, and it's just gorgeous property. It's called the Wilds, W-I-L-D-S. It's really well run, very educational, and as you can see, uh, some really picturesque property. They have several type of, I'm going to call them elk, deer, uh, hoofed animals, uh, some from Asia, some from Africa, and they have bison. I have a picture of a hillside of bison, camels. They have a couple of camels. They have a few cheetahs, uh, quite an array. Ostriches, you won't see an ostrich picture here. You will see the wild dogs from Africa and giraffes, etc. They have two tours. When Normally when you book you get one tour free, which is in a bus. You don't go off-roading per se. They have paths that the buses go on. So if the animals come close, fine. If not, you see them from a distance. The other tour is a little safari jeep type thing with a half a dozen seats where they actually go up to the animals that they feel they can go up to. Uh, you'll see where... We were actually feeding a giraffe. His tongue is as long as the, the piece of lettuce, 16 inches, 20 inches long. It's unbelievable. Uh, the rhinos come right up to the vehicle. Really kind of neat. So we liked that a lot. Uh, again, it's, it's, it's part of the Columbus Zoo adventures and they do a wonderful job in, in trying to preserve animals. A really nice area. They spend a lot of time taking the animals in the winter and housing them comfortably because they can't stand the cold. So that's those are the two places. And uh, I hope if you like animals at all, you'll at least look at these two places, Lakota Wolf Preserve and the wilds uh, really we really had a great time with them uh, there's nothing like going to the homeland of some of these animals but uh, this is about as close as you're going to get i think in the united states to see 
these animals in what you would call a somewhat natural surrounding. Most of the animals that are grazers, they don't need to supplement their food much. Uh, some of the other animals they have to feed a fair amount to. Certainly the carnivores, which are in a separate area, they have to do that. So I hope you like this little presentation. It's only six or seven minutes long. Uh, we enjoyed it thoroughly. Probably we'll go back there. Certainly we'll support uh, the Lakota Wolf Preserve. Uh, I think they're very deserving of it. And uh, if you like to share it, I think a lot of people would enjoy this. Uh, like it, dislike it, comment on it. Um, subscribe, doesn't matter. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, coming up after this, hopefully shortly, will be the actual installation of the diesel, the Lister diesel into the light tower trailer. So we'll see you in the near future. Thanks a lot.